Hello and welcome to the Good News Review for June. Um, we're looking at some brilliant stories in here this month, um, particularly focused on prayer. There's a, a fantastic little article on prayer and how it can make such a difference in people's lives. And, and Mark's going to uh, review a, a story as well. So, Mark, over to you. What do you think? Well, there's one story that really stood out to me because everybody has questions. You know, is Jesus really the only way, truth, and life? Is there a God? Uh, lots of questions. And I am very, very pleased that there are very, very many opportunities for people to have their spiritual questions answered. And uh, there's an article on page three uh, about a man who went on a spiritual pilgrimage and uh, he called it a very cool, a really cool two weeks delving into deep questions. He was uh, given space to reflect and to think and to consider. And uh, he says, I am so pleased that I did. And the thing that stands out about this article is here we, we, we live in this world full of conflicts and contrast and, and we have questions about the place of God. And here's a man who had the boldness and the courage to, to explore those questions. And I recommend this article to you for that reason. If you're a person who is not sure, not certain about this God thing or, or Jesus or church or Christianity, perhaps reading an article like this might give you the encouragement, the boldness to pursue those questions. You can talk to a Christian friend. There are websites you can look at. There are courses you can um, go on. Uh, there are churches you can go into and, and just begin to explore. And if you are a, a, a firm believer in Jesus Christ, one thing this article um, inspired me to, to do is to remember to be patient with people, uh, to give people space. And, and perhaps if you are a Christian, uh, and, and you read the good newspaper, this is an article that, that can remind you that you can be used. And there are other articles uh, in this paper that will definitely tell you, you can be used to help direct people to Jesus, answer people's questions. So that was my article. That was my inspiration. I hope that you'll get the good newspaper and be inspired also. Thanks, Mark. That's brilliant. Yeah, the art, some, several articles actually caught my eye um, because there's a bit of a theme running through uh, some of these articles about prayer. There's a whole article on prayer, actually, and uh, some people dismiss prayer. Um, others think that it may may do something for them, but they're not really sure what it is. But but uh, there's some great um, great stories to inspire us here. One, one on the front page here. This is uh, the headline here is from junkie to journalist, and this violent drug addict um, and uh, and someone who's in gangs and. And, and various other things, uh, unsavory things, and and he he his whole life was changed around by one simple prayer. Um, he, he talks about one simple prayer on the phone. Actually, someone rang him and said a prayer for him over the phone, and he said it changed me. It was a simple prayer on the phone that stopped me from injecting drugs. Um, there was lots of process from there, but that was the, the when he looks back to it, that was a milestone for him. And, and there's a, 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 another quote he talks about, which is really powerful. I thought he said um, because of prayer and, and, and other stuff that he was he was involved with in terms of, of understanding the Bible. He said he came to realize that my pain did not revolve around what others had done to me, but the wrong I had done to others. I had to take ownership for that. And there's something about prayer and about the Bible together that helps to reflect back to us how we're living and and to see ourselves a little bit as, as if um in the eyes of, of god to how he sees us but not in a, a condemning and, and 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 down way but in a way that wants to liberate us and free us and the bible actually uses the terms being set free um from what what we're in um to something else so maybe you're someone who's uh, got a bit uh, in in life got a bit stuck where you are maybe you're a bit of a despairing maybe you feel you've come to the end i mean my i once felt that that my life was was worth so little. Um, well, God can change all that through prayer. And there's another story here about a, a woman who was uh, uh, in a subscription service, uh, uh, like a porn site, primarily for sex workers. And she said the support of prayer and, and, and a committed Christian for, for praying for her and the Bible gave her a basis for better living and how to live pleasing God. So try prayer, uh, read the good newspaper, get inspired, but pray, ask Jesus to help you in your life and you, you won't be disappointed. Mark, over to you. That's very true. You will not be disappointed. God is a loving God. He's a powerful God, and he cares for every instance of our life. So we encourage you to get the good newspaper 
be encouraged by the good news that there is a God who does care and you can experience him. Thank you.